Leo, this is your week ahead astrology forecast from Astrology Motivation by Born Without Boundaries. This is going to cover the days between April 14th and 20th. So that's what this week is, April 14th to, through 20th. What we're going to cover in this video is the major planetary aspects and transits that are going to direct and how they directly impact your natal sun during this time. Where is your natal sun? Well, you, you probably already know, your natal sun is located somewhere in Leo. And what I mean by somewhere is it's located so on one of the 30 degrees inside the zodiac sign of Leo. Every zodiac sign has 30 degrees on the zodiac wheel, which is a total of 360 degrees. So in somewhere in Leo, your natal sun has fallen on one of those degrees. So if your natal sun is between zero and nine degrees, Leo, you are your natal sun is in the first decant of Leo, which is the a group of 10 degrees. So I'm going to refer to you guys as Leo once. If your natal sun falls between 10 and 19 degrees, Leo, you guys are Leo twos. And if your natal sun falls between 20 and 29 degrees, Leo, you guys are Leo threes. So how do you find out where your natal sun is? I mean, I'm going to mention the dates or estimate the dates for you during this video so you don't have to, but it's most accurate if you do. And all you have to do is search, go on, to, go online, search free natal chart, and you can find so many websites that will generate a free natal chart for, for you. All you will need is your birth date, which you already know, your birth time and your birth place, all of which are in pieces of information on your birth certificate. So call your mom or take out your birth certificate. It's easy easy to plug that information in and then it'll spit out a, a nice neat beautiful natal chart for you and you'll know exactly where your natal sun is located the reason why this makes a difference is because everything we do in astrology is based on angles and the angles to which your natal sun is to another planet is quite different from somebody who's born on the opposite side of the season from you so there's about there's 30 degrees between the beginning of leo season and the end of leo season so ultimately that's a huge difference in how your natal suns are going to be impacted by these relationships these angles to other planets um, so what we're going to do is start really really broad Leo we're going to start with the things that are going to impact everybody and then we'll whittle that down to specifics of how they impact Leo's um, and what Leo should be looking at in particular and then um, we're going to go into the decans to see exactly how all these all these transits and aspects are impacting your natal sun. So I know you can see I got a cancer hat on. Why am I wearing it in a Leo video? I'm wearing a cancer shirt too. Yeah, baby. These are available in white and black. I also got my sweatpants on. I have all of this stuff available in Leo for Leo. So you get your little Leo zodiac sign up here. This is avail available in white and black too. Guys, take a look. Go check out my website, bornwithoutboundariestarot.com forward slash shop. Go check it out and check out that merch because it's so cute and it's so comfortable. Okay, so let's go into the big thing. The big thing that's happening this week, Leo, is there's a second new moon in Aries. So the second new moon in a zodiac sign is called a double moon. It's not a black moon. A black moon is the second new moon within the same month. A double moon is the second new moon within the same zodiac season. So the sun is still in Aries and the sun, we've already had a new moon in Aries. We're going to have another new moon in Aries. And this only happens about every three years. So it is pretty rare, um, but it's not unheard of. But here's something even more special. It's also a solar eclipse, which is absolutely going to impact you guys, especially when it comes with forcing you inward and helping you look to see those things inside of you that maybe you, the emotions that have hurt you or held you back or held you down, the emotions that you really have to release and get rid of or changing your perspective of who you are based on all those self-defeating thoughts that could have been in your mind. So um, the the solar eclipse, I'm sorry, the new moon is going to happen between the 19th and 20th of this week, uh, depending on where you are on the globe. Now, if you are in the Northern Hemisphere, if you're in the United States, etc., etc., you're not going to see the solar eclipse. 
but if you are in parts of India, Australia, Southern Hemisphere, you will definitely see this eclipse. And you'll see it go from an annular, which is that like bright circle around the moon, a black spot with a circle around it. Um, and then it'll go to a full or a total eclipse where, this, where the moon totally blocks out the sun. And then it'll go back to an annular solar eclipse. So it could be quite spectacular for you guys to see that. So if anybody gets footage, feel free to email it to me because I think it's gonna be so, just so exceptional. Just because us in the US or in Europe are, are not going to be experiencing the, be able to view it, we're still gonna be able to feel it. So, <laughs> okay. So let's get into another reason why it's particularly special. This solar eclipse new moon, second new moon in Aries is going to be square to Pluto, which means major change, dynamic change, uncomfortable change. The change is challenging or it's challenging your own beliefs but because it's Pluto it's toxic like what are the toxic beliefs that have challenged your value in yourself what do you need to let go of in order to get a complete fresh new start you are going to be purged of all of this energy to get make room to to start over completely new fresh start this is the second new moon it's square to Pluto it's also conjunct to Jupiter so it's like, I want to grow. I want to expand. And all week long, the sun is conjunct to Jupiter, which is another big um, aspect that is going to impact everybody, but especially you guys, because you're ruled by the sun. Leading up to this new moon slash solar eclipse is Jupiter conjuncting the sun all week long. So there's just so much expansion and growth and wanting to make room. But it's those things that are getting in your way, those toxins inside of you, those toxic self-defeating beliefs that you have to purge. And that's going to happen around the new moon. Um, and then we also have a conjunction between Mercury and Uranus. So that's going to impact everybody too. We'll get to how it's going to impact or who, which one of you is going to, it's going to be impacted most. It's going to be impacting most. I apologize. Um, but this is brilliant energy. So all week long, the conjunction between Mercury and Uranus is the dissemination of information that's come from a genius place. Could be a major technological breakthrough or something that finally reaches the masses or finally, aha, I can understand something. In terms of nationally, it's like this message or this technology that could break through. But um, big discovery, like something ingenuitive and genius finally being announced and then we have um personally aha finally realizing something that I haven't been able to realize or articulate before because the mind is just so beautifully impacted by this conjunction it's like brilliance it's like it's like genius for with a practical use with a with a pragmatic application so let's get into the sun we've already gone over what the, the sun is going to experience this week leo and it's huge so a solar eclipse is dynamic change for you guys a change in how you see yourself and believe in yourself but because you're off the sun has also been conjunct to jupiter during the solar eclipse the sun is in a very loose conjunction to jupiter it's it, but all week long leading up to it, it's been in a pretty tight conjunction to Jupiter. So there's a sense of what's getting in my way. Like, why am I not expanding or growing? Or maybe I've believed things about myself that were not true. And I need to release that toxic image or value system of myself so I can finally appreciate who I am, what I'm capable of, and then see the opportunities in front of me based on the truth or reality of me. But first I have to accept me personally. So could it be a very emotional week? I think it is going to be a very emotional week, but it's going to be exactly what you need to sort of cleanse those toxins out of your soul. Let's get into the deckhands. Okay, so Leo 1. You are going to be square to the north node if you are at the very cusp of Leo 1. So that's the Cancer Leo cusp. The North Node is in Taurus at four degrees. So you guys at the cusp of Cancer Leo are basically like um, July 20th, July 23rd, July 22nd, July 23rd. Um, 
your natal suns are square to the north node so you're having difficulty you're struggling with moving forward or accepting what you need to accept in order to move in the direction that you need to go you're having trouble kind of feels like you're having trouble moving forward or moving toward your future or toward something specific in your future um your natal suns are also because it's happening at the very end of aries season and you're at the very beginning of leo season um you guys are square to this new moon you're square to the new moon you're square to the sun when it's going through the solar eclipse um so by sunday you're going to be square to the sun itself the current sun this is a huge dynamic conflict with the sense of self and what you need to learn about who you are in order for that conflict to be resolved so definitely expect that there's going to be something here with your body your body type or your physical well-being because everything's happening in Aries and into Taurus so what has got to do with finances financial value maybe you've been overindulging in things whatever it is however it is there is now a focus on the corner you've backed yourself into and having to see the truth of the situation of it even if you don't want to you have to deal with this crappy stuff now um your natal suns, and this is a long-term aspect, are trying to Neptune if you are at the very cusp, so the Cancer Leo cusps. This could be distracting, very creative, very, very robustly creative, um, new things, dawning faith, rekindling faith. And I think if you use this as a strength and use this as sort of the cord that's pulling you through this rough time to have faith, you're going to find a deeper sense of faith and a deeper understanding of yourself through faith. Um, your natal suns are quincunx to Saturn. Um, that's also frustrating when it comes to laws, legalities, contracts you've gotten yourself into, authorities not living up to somebody's expectations. It's not necessarily a block, but it's going to cause frustration for you. And that is a long-term aspect. So expect that to be going on for the next year or so. Um, nothing is exacerbating Saturn right now, though. Nothing is conjuncting Saturn. So you may not feel that as much. Your natal suns are in opposition to Pluto, though, if you are on the very cusp of Leo season. So it's most the pressure from mostly all this pressure is going to be felt by the people who are born on the 22nd 23rd of leo you know that you cuspers who are just right there at the cancer border getting all these squares from an aries moon that's happening in the third decan of aries that's just it's just clashing um and that's why it's important to know where your, your where your sun is because the stereotype is that leo is in harmony with aries but not if you're at the beginning of Leo season and something's happening at the end of Aries season. That's only 60 degrees. I'm sorry. That's only um, 90 degrees difference or 85 degrees difference. And that's or 95 degrees difference. So anywhere between 85 and 95 degrees, especially at that 90 degrees, it's square. So you're going to be challenged by that energy. Um, and that's what's happening to you, especially over this new moon. So I think what's going to happen is this is a new start or a new beginning that you've been trying to avoid or didn't think was possible. And just the possibility of it is going to require that you face aspects in yourself that you had tried to avoid. And FYI, but that Pluto opposition is these changes are going to happen and you don't have any control over them. And that's going to be for the next couple of years. But you're especially going to feel it when Pluto is active because Pluto is square to this new moon. So Pluto is square to the sun while it's eclipsing. So there's a dynamic change. Dynamic change. When the light goes out, what do we see? It's a good question. Uh, leave your comments below. I love to know how this energy is impacting you guys. Um, Leo 2s. So those of you born probably in the first week and a half of August are Leo twos and your natal sun is sextile to Venus all week long. So 
this is a great time to get your hair done, to change your look, to change your style, to shop for new clothes, what's up? Um, to change your house, to just beautify yourself. You'll be very attractive. People will find you very attractive. This is an energy of finances working out really well for you. A great time to make a, a, a larger financial purchase. The ability to get approved for the ability to be able to do that. Um, and also very romantic time, very flirtatious time. People will find you super attractive or you'll find yourself coming in contact with people that you're very attracted to. Um, this could just be a really fun and playful time for you. Your natal suns are going to be square to the Mercury-Uranus conjunction. So remember, Mercury is about to go into retrograde. And um, on the 19th, Mercury basically um, just... Um, stops moving. <laughs> um, so it, 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 it legitimately digs up all of this stuff that kind of like it, it kind of like it's moving, 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 and then it just slows down. And you know, that kind of like wave that get come that happens when you're going against a current, it just splashes everything up. So it could be that impact could also be a sense of whatever technology or whatever breakthrough is happening just screws up everything with you. So there's a sense of maybe that's when your iPhone crashes or maybe that's when your computer crashes. This is happening to you all week. So um, it will challenge stuff that you want to get done. It will challenge stuff that you felt confident about. All of these things, especially realizing something or information that comes through could very much challenge the way that you perceived yourself or your own personal value. So this is a big FYI too. Your NATO sons are, however, trying to Chiron. And this is good because it's a long-term aspect and you've been dealing with this for a while, but this is a sense of drawing um, inspiration from suffering and from challenges and figuring out what to do with them, making harmony with those energies, those parts of yourself that you have always felt are not worthy. So this is actually a not so bad week for you it's 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 sort of a sense of things around you that will help you i don't know it, it it's just not will help you but the mercury uranus square will challenge you absolutely but you'll feel so good and feel so loved that there is a sense of look i can deal with this crap and still have a good day that kind of energy. Leo threes. Um, you guys get the new moon the best. So those of you, especially those of you born at the very end of Leo season, God, guys, you are trying to this new moon. This new moon is going to bring harmony with how you feel about yourself, what you think about yourself, the way that you see yourself, as well as harmony with any kind of impediments to that healing. It's going to bring you catharsis and healing, especially about your, your feelings about your physical self, your feelings about your appearance, your feelings, not just your appearance, no, but your feelings about your, your body, your fitness, your energy levels. There's harmony that's coming back into all of those things. All week long, your natal sun is going to be trying to the sun and trying to Jupiter, and they're conjuncting each other. So there's a sense of feeling good about yourself, finding your confidence, finding your courage, and finding your way forward. Like work, things really working out. Your natal suns are quincunx to Neptune, which means you're kind of sick of escaping. Like leave the dreams behind, put them away. Um, you could also have had clashes with faith that challenged you. Uh, that's a long-term aspect though, so I'm not sure you're dealing with that so intensely right now. Um, your natal suns, if you are born at the cusp of Virgo, your natal suns are, um, are opposite Saturn. Saturn is in the first... Um, Saturn is in the first decan of Pisces for basically this whole year. So if you're born at the very, very cusp, like this would be Leos who were born August 20th, August 21st, maybe, maybe August 19th. You guys are, are in opposition to Saturn. So it means that you never have a rest. Like it's legalities, laws, practicalities, um, 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 contracts, obligations, growing up. 
It can be very frustrating. It can be very, be very exhausting, especially when it comes to your career, your job, your work, but it will definitely show you what is getting you exhausted and what you may need to lop off and what fat you may need to trim by what is draining you the most. Um, so you can use even the most challenging aspects to reveal issues that you're having and ways in which you need to heal or different decisions you need to make and that's exactly what I think there's this challenge it could also be a challenge with a father figure or a parental figure um, you let me know in the comments below either way April 19th April 20th April 21st huge days for you real switch real catharsis and real opportunity for healing by purging those toxic ideas of yourself. For some of you, it's the toxic ideas of, look how great I am. For others of you, it's purging the toxic ideas of, look how shitty I am. You know, for whatever you're feeling, whatever it is, there is that sense of being able to let go because it was all an illusion and just finally get to the bare bones reality of who you are and move forward as who you are instead of who you thought you were or who you were trying to be. I love you guys so much. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and definitely come on over to your week ahead tarot card reading for Leo over on Born Without Boundaries Tarot. I will see you guys next week.